There's a place in Montreal that's very near and dear to my heart. It's a place called Camp Concora. It's in Laurentians. And it's a very important place for me because I was a summer counselor there. And I went on, I was a, I was a camper and then I was a counselor. I worked my way up through the ranks. I had very powerful experiences there over the course of about, I don't know, 10 years. And most of my significant Montreal relationships, I can still trace back to that place. So, the cool thing is, in the winter of 79 or 80, the camp had become winterized. They had built some other cabins that enabled it to be used all year round. I had never been out there in winter. So on a winter morning, beautiful winter morning, uh, slight breeze, beautiful, blindingly white snow, I decided to take a walk on the lake at the camp. There's a camp there at the lake, is called uh, Lac, -le Lac -le Grove. And it was about 8 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I was just, you know what it's like to be out in just, I don't know, ski years or whatever, to just be out in that blinding white snow all by yourself and just feel so alive and so peaceful. And I started singing. And as I was singing, I thought, what is that? I heard something else. I didn't know what it was. And I stopped singing, and I realized it was my voice that was being echoed off of it opposite side of the lake, and I thought, oh, okay, let's play with this. So I started showing my head off, woke everybody in the camp up, and was going, what were you doing out there? We were trying to sleep, we were yelling your head off. Anyway, I was inspired by the moment I decided to write this song. The words that I chose are the words to Psalm 96. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the words to Psalm 96. It's one of David's psalms praising nature. And I thought, well, it doesn't get any more appropriate than that. So I went home and with a little technical wizardry, I sort of mimicked what happened to us. 